Damn, the Galaxy Watch 6 has some cool new features you can do with it, starting with some wicked new gestures. So to find these gestures, you'll have to actually turn them on inside your settings. In there, just scroll down to accessibility and then you'll see this option, interaction and dexterity. Then right over here, universal gestures, make sure this is turned on and then check it out. Let's say you've got a drink in your hand. Well, if you do the double clench gesture with your fist, the circle appears. And if you double clench again, it'll open up this gesture and action menu where you can then clench to select and open up the app menu. Then if you tap your index finger and thumb together, you can start navigating navigating around the watch and pretty much open up any application without even touching your watch. This works pretty much anyway, so again, just double clench to activate universal gestures, then a single finger tap to navigate and move forward, or a double finger tap to move backwards, and finally a clench to accept. Honestly, it's actually all really simple, and another way you can navigate is if you open up the gesture menu and scroll through the different options, you'll then see this cursor scan icon that brings up this little cursor where you can basically navigate your entire watch by just tilting and moving your wrist. So damn cool. I mean, even though these gestures feel kind of familiar, I'm still glad the Watch 6 Classic can actually do them. Okay, now this app kind of blew my mind. Inside the Play Store, if you click on the search icon and search for an application called Camera One, here's what it looks like. But this app is actually a bit different from the normal camera app because when you open it up, it doesn't actually display the camera open on your phone. So it keeps things closed on your phone, but still shows you on the watch what the camera is seeing. And you can also hear everything. What you talking about? Sneaky. <laughs> so if you think about it, this is kind of the closest the Watch 6 classic gets to an actual spy watch mm, right. which is so cool but also kind of scary it also comes with this brand new temperature sensor on the back of the watch that you don't really find on other watches which later i'll show you what it's mainly used for but in the play store if you search for an app called thermocheck 365 and open it up you'll see that you can tap on this living option then multiple times and finally a different type of material so if you choose something like general now check this out all you do is take the watch off your wrist then click on check and now you can measure the surface temperature of just about anything like a tasty bowl of soup, a hot cup of coffee, or skin temperature, which can actually come in super handy to check while you're sick, which is actually sick. Now, besides getting normal texts or emails on your watch, if you go into the Play Store, you can now also get the brand new WhatsApp app for it. And it's so cool because you can see every single chat on WhatsApp. You can even view photos within your chats and even react to messages by tapping and holding down on them, which I mean, let's see a Rolex do that. But what I personally love about having WhatsApp on this watch is if you tap this little mic icon, you can record and send voice notes. So if you ever get a message and don't have your phone around, you can just quickly respond using a voice note, kind of like James Bond, so cool. Or if you'd rather just send a text reply, then you can select the keyboard icon and instead of typing out what you'd like to say, just select the mic icon and say it. It's so much easier than typing and actually also really accurate. But what's especially crazy about the Watch 6 Classic is you can get the entire internet on it. So to get the internet on your watch, all you gotta do is head to the Play Store, tap the search icon and type in internet. It's literally that simple and it's the first option that appears called Samsung Internet Browser. And I know browsing the internet on your watch might seem a little bit silly, but if you open it up, you'll find all these quick bookmarks like YouTube or Google, for example. So if you really wanted to, you could browse and watch all your favorite YouTube videos on this ginormous screen, cause that's totally what watches were made for. Or you could use it to browse through Amazon, look at a bunch of Google images, or maybe just search something like how to repair a time machine. <laughs> and if you do come across something cool, then you can actually pinch into Zoom and use the two side buttons to then take a screenshot of the bam, and it'll save that to your watch's gallery or even the gallery on your phone. Nifty. If you also ever wanted quick access to the internet, you could scroll to the end of your tiles and add a new tile, then scroll down until you see internet. Reposition it to wherever you'd like within your tiles lineup. And once you tap on edit, then a plus icon, you can assign different bookmarks. So depending on what you want, just add those. And then the next time it's quick and easy to just swipe through your tiles and open the internet.
Now onto some brand new customization. Did you guys know that if you tap and drag an app over another app, it'll actually turn into a folder? This is brand new and I personally love it because the app menu can get really out of hand, especially with all the different apps I like to download and test out. So this way things stay a lot more organized. And there are a few other really cool things you can do with these folders, like change the actual color. So you get a few different colors to choose from, but I do wish there were a few more. And once you've done that, you can also give your folders a specific name, like contact, for example. And in here, you can then put all your contact apps like messages, WhatsApp or contacts, which just helps keep things nice and tidy. And finally, if you also tap and hold down on a folder, you can reorder it based on which apps you like to use the most. And speaking of apps, did you know you can actually see which apps drain the most battery? So to see which apps are using up the most amount of your watch's battery, head into settings and scroll down to battery and device care. In here, it's pretty hidden, but if you tap on battery and tap on left, you'll see exactly what apps are using up the most amount of battery. Honestly though, you don't really need to worry about the battery life on this bad boy because I easily got around two to three days of use from it. But at least now, if you do see the battery draining really quickly, you can see exactly which app is the cause. Then a little trick that not many people know about is that instead of using your charging pad to charge your watch, head into the quick settings panel on your Samsung phone and toggle on wireless power share. Because now, whenever you do charge your phone and have that wireless power share turned on, put your phone down and place your watch six on the back of it and voila, both your watch and your phone will charge at the same time, which will actually save you some time. Okay, so the Watch 6 Classic can measure a lot of health stats to make sure that you're in tip-top shape. But there are actually a few hidden health stats that are off by default, which you should definitely turn on inside your health settings, with the first one being called stress. Make sure you just turn this on to measure continuously, because this will then continuously measure your stress levels throughout the day, and I was actually kind of surprised at how accurate it was. Then if you ever want to check on those levels, you can head into your health application and in here scroll down down until you see the stress graph. And this little graph is a good indication of your stress levels. And if you scroll down a bit more, you'll see an even more detailed look, which clearly, <laughs> I need to calm down a bit. To find the second measurement stats, back inside the health settings, if you scroll down to sleep, in here, make sure to toggle on blood oxygen during sleep and skin temperature during sleep. And again, if you ever wanna check out those stats within the health application on your phone, you can see a way more detailed graph of your blood oxygen and also skin temperature. And why it's good to keep these measurements on is if you're struggling with sleeping, your blood oxygen or skin temperature might actually be able to help you figure out what's going on. Interesting. Now, because this watch comes with a massive display, it's actually kind of fun to play games on it. And one game in particular that's especially fun to play on your wrist is this one called Dice for Tabletop. Basically, all it is is just a dice simulation that you can then roll around by shaking your wrist, kind of like a real life dice, but you can even add more of them if you want and literally go crazy. The next game I really enjoy that's actually quite difficult is called Cosmo Run. And this is a kind of tapping game where you have to see how long you can keep the ball on the path by tapping correctly. And it's kind of a good way to burn through time while waiting for the ads to finish before the movie so you don't need all the popcorn. But now it's time to move on to some quick tips. Now, this one never gets old, and it's basically how to change from Bixby to Google Assistant. It's super simple, and all you gotta do is head into the Play Store and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Manage Apps. In here, just make sure you tap on Assistant and Update. Once that is done, then you need to head into Settings and scroll down to Advanced Features. Then in here, you'll see this option called Customize Buttons, and the press and hold changes from Bixby to Assistant, and you are good to go. For the next quick tip, back inside advanced features, you'll find another brand new setting called disconnection alerts. Just make sure to toggle on full screen alert with sound and vibration, because now whenever you walk away and leave your phone behind, your watch will actually give you this notification with sound and vibration to let you know your phone was disconnected from it and even ask if you'd like to track it using find my phone. 
And for the third quick tip, this one is extra quick, but did you know that inside your calculator, you can actually swipe up and right over here, you'll see tip calculator where you can actually work out a tip at a restaurant. All you do is type in how much you want the tip to be, the percentage and how many people you're splitting with and that's it. It'll do all the work for you. Then there's even a unit converter to help you quickly convert things like area and length or even temperature, basically anything you can think of which can come in really handy. Honestly, I freaking love the Watch 6 Classic and for even more tips and tricks on this bad boy, check out these videos, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!